Okay, we're gonna focus on drawing the mouth. Before we talk about drawing the mouth, we want to talk about the lighting. When the light coming from different angles, it's just showing a different visual elements, a different visual shapes. If you move the lighting, the shapes and the form will be a little bit different. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a really quick, just the whole, uh, I got a comment from someone this morning, a uh, question. How can you know the size of the eye? And if you're not laid the eye with the face, you very much can draw the size of the eye whatever you want, right? But if you want to say, oh, how big is the, the face and then how big is the eye? You have to relate that too. So I have the whole series on YouTube. It's called Portrait Basics. Just follow the step, you can get it. So I'm going to put the face about over here, this location and this size. So I'm going to draw the middle, the middle from the top of the head, the middle is the eye. So I'm going to draw the line for the eye right here. It's already there. And then from the hairline, uh, coming down all the way to the chin, it's a three. So even though partially the hair cover uh, a little bit of the forehead, so the forehead looks a little bit less than one third. So take a look at this, right? First, roughly, just find this location. So it's the eyebrows right here in this location. The eye about this location. And the nose is right in the middle here and between the eyebrows and the chin. And then the mouth, I can see that it can divide into five. I also have an episode talk about the location of the mouth inside in this series of uh, portrait basics. So that now, we're gonna divide this into one, two, three, four, five. Two is for the chin. The top over here, this is the distance between uh, the mouth and the top of their uh, lip. And then this, the lower lip. And the chin deserves two of this. So this is applied pretty well uh, to this portrait. So let's find those location over here. So roughly to doing that. I'm gonna ignore the eyeglasses for now, okay? Uh, later, if I want to finish the whole portrait, I'm probably gonna add the eyeglasses too. But you can ignore things if you want. So now you can see that because his face turning a little bit to the right, I can see that. On the left over here, like a one and one third of an eye. So on the right side, it would last, only two thirds of the eye. So I'm going to mark the location of the eyes. Now this is the location. Uh, this is one eye here, and there's another eye over here. And the distance between the two eyes, a little bit farther, that is just their eye right here. Now we talk about the nose, the width of the nose, compared to the width of the eyes. And it's a little bit smaller. So that you can see on the left over here, on the right, it come to the right a little bit, it get a little bit smaller. So this is also the reason that we don't want to put too much details at the early stage. Okay, we need to find the location first before you start drawing lots of details. Okay, now we're gonna come to what we're talking about uh, in this lesson. Now we're gonna compare the corner of the mouth to the eye, to the left eye, to the right eye. It looks like it's about here compared to the eye and compared to the nose. A little bit wider than the corner of the nose. Right? It's very important to know the location before you draw the details. Upper lip and the lower lip. And you want to double check, you can connect corner of the mouth all the way coming to the eye to see where the eye location. I think one third of the eye. What we're going to do now, we talk about the lighting. Where the light coming from? The light coming from this direction. So uh, on this side of the mouth, we can divide this actually on two sides. The plane, the surface of this side of the mouth, it actually a little bit more away from the light source. But and over here also because the mouth, it look like this. 
a curving like this, right? So that means at the bottom over here, also showing a little shadow side, right? The top over here look a little bit lighter. So we're gonna apply that to here too. So I'm gonna here, it's a little bit darker, right? Good. And also on this side, we're also showing this I have the curve. Uh, the curve coming down, coming down, coming down like this on the left side. So that means we also need to divide this into two portions. On the bottom over here, it does have a little bit darker, uh, showing the turn of this. So this is the upper lip of the mouth, and this is a little curve coming in here, a little curve like this, because the whole mouth is actually curving. This kind of thing, it's not flat. Now we're looking at the bottom, uh, the lower lip. The lower lip, you can divide it into three. One is here, right? And, and there's the side over here and coming toward that direction. So look at the, the bottom. We have one, we have two sides. You can see also like a little slowly curve coming down. You can see the contour of this surface. But over here, it's a little bit quicker coming down uh, toward that direction, right? Now you can see on this side, it's a little bit darker, like this, coming down, right? And also here, also too, it's coming down a little curve this way, because curve, so this portion taking most of the light, and the top over here also a little bit shaded, a little bit, a little bit dimmer, okay? and the top over here turning away so the light is not getting much into this side of the triangle. Now we're looking at the bottom over here. It has a quite a bit of distance between the lip and the chin. So that's why it has always have shadow, have shadow over here and create a catch to shadow on the chin like this. And we're gonna leave a little bit of light over here. When we do portrait, we don't finish one portion and then go to the other portion. Moving forward in the same speed. This demonstration, we focus on the mouth, but I also want to show you that we can finish the rest of the drawing. I'm taking a compressed charcoal block. And at first, I'm gonna divide the shadow side from the face. So I'm gonna see this, there is just a little bit light onto the, the cheek on the left side. So what I want to do is quickly just cover this whole side, it actually the shadow side, like over here. And I talk about the ear, the ear, the location is between the eyes and the eyebrows. And on this side, we can see a little bit more of the ear, but don't think about the ear, just think about a shape. And the, at the bottom of the ear is, is right uh, uh, on the same level as the bottom of the nose. On this side, you only see a very little tiny, tiny shape over here. So now I'm going to put the hair on the top over here. We're gonna talk more about hairs uh, next week. But when you see the hairs, you don't want to think hair, it's just think about a darker shape. That, uh, what is the area for the shape? Like the area over here, like that, draw the outline, fill in the shape, and the ear, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. And on this side, the sideburn coming down a little, and over here I have a little triangle shape, and that is suggestion for the ear. So you don't need to really think about the ear in order to draw the ear. Just think about the shape comparative to the whole face correctly. And it would suggest that. So I'm going to put the shadow side on the neck. And then we're coming down over here and fine tune the left side of the face.
right? It's almost there, right? Okay. And they catch the shadow on the neck, cast it by uh, the coat. So now I'm going to put some definitions of the clothing really quickly. And coming to this side, Now, uh, when you talk about the hair, the hair is just a shape. Like on this side is shadow side. This side is a little bit light side, right? So now we're gonna go into inside the eyes. Now put a little iris in here. And you also know that on this side of the eyelid is a little bit shadow. And uh, the same for the, for the lower eyelids. So coming over here, the iris. Coming put over here and a little catch the shadow inside the eye. On this side, it's a little bit darker uh, because showing the form of their eyeball, right? So now we're gonna go into eyeglasses. Now we're gonna add the eyeglasses starting in the center over here. Here we go. And Wow, in this location, coming through. Uh, observe, pay more attention to look before you draw. Compare the left side and the right side of the frame. Coming up here, I think it's right here, like this. Okay, here we go. Now you have the eyeglasses, right? Um, now take, a, take one more look. On this side, I think the shadow side could be a little bit darker. And over here, down here, a little bit more turn, slowly turning down like this uh, on the side of the chin. So we're gonna, how we're gonna put all those things together to become uh, one complete drawing. But today we just, we're gonna stop our uh, lesson right here. I hope this lesson is helpful for you. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I will see you in our next lesson.